I'm Chris from the Play and Learning team at Eureka, and today I've got possibly my messiest science demonstration for you. You've potentially already guessed what I'm going to be doing, given that I've got Diet Coke and Mentos, and in a second I'm going to head outside to get it started, because there is absolutely no chance I'm doing it in my living room. If you do want to have a go at this at home, we do have a guide on our website, but I would say two things. One, definitely do it outside like me. There is no chance you should be doing this inside. It is very, very messy. And two, use Diet Coke. Normal Coke gets extremely sticky and it gets everywhere doing this, so it is horrible to clean up. But without any further ado, let's go outside and get started. Three, two, one. So why do Diet Coke and Mentos have such a messy reaction? Well, it's all down to a process called nucleation. When you feel the surface of a Mentos mint, it feels relatively smooth. But if you look closely with, say, a microscope, you can see it's actually quite a rough, bumpy surface. And that's the important part for this reaction. Inside Diet Coke, there is a gas, carbon dioxide, dissolved into the liquid. And that is what gives it its fizz. Now you can release this carbon dioxide in a few different ways. If you shake a bottle of Diet Coke up, all of those bubbles that form at the top, that's the carbon dioxide. But when you throw a Mentos mint in it, all that rough bumpy surface gives a chance for those bubbles to nucleate, to form all over the surface. And they form incredibly quickly. In fact, they form so quickly, there's just too many of them. So they have to escape and they escape in the only place they can, upwards and then absolutely everywhere. So that is the secret of why Diet Coke and Mentos have such a messy reaction. 